Throughout lockdown, there have been various moments that have lifted our spirits, from family music videos to Captain Tom's fundraising number one single. And interestingly, many of them involve music. Now, a TV vocal coach who's used to training the stars is encouraging us to give singing a try for our mental health and well-being. Holly Goodall has the story. <laughs> From West End casts to gospel choirs, lockdown has brought the singing community together to keep our spirits up. And it's not just the professionals who've been giving it a go. I've had um, this idea to create the London Mums uh, um, Choir online to help other mums trying to overcome their feelings or feeling lonely. Monica and the London mums have been taking tips from vocal coach Cece Sammy. She's used to working with professionals and rising stars on programmes like The Voice, but now she's released free workshops online to encourage everyone to feel the benefits of singing. I have lots of friends and family members calling me up saying, do you know what this, how am I going to deal with it? And I thought the rest of the country must be in the same situation. So why don't I put things on my Instagram, YouTube, and just tell everyone, try the exercises to breathe in and breathe out, put some music on, that will trigger the brain in different ways. The most beautiful world, someone The mental health benefits of listening to music are well known. But experts say actively engaging through singing has even greater physical impact. Because of the sensory routes that music takes into our brain, um, that actually can adjust our breathing, our heart rate. The greatest love. When she suffered a brain aneurysm eight years ago, Cece found music helped her to learn to walk and talk again. Now she wants others to discover the healing power of music. Holly Goodall, BBC London.